Microsoft Copilot. If you haven't heard of it, then where have you been the past few months? Copilot, our vision for everyday AI companion for you. Microsoft is going to begin selling its new AI tool called Copilot. Microsoft AI Copilot launches today, costs 30 bucks a month. But amongst all of this hype and discussion, there is still important questions to answer. What is Microsoft Copilot and how can it help you in your daily life? Those are the most important questions right now that you're probably considering. And there's a huge amount of resources out there that go into a lot of technical detail. But what I'm gonna try and do is summarize it all down, introduce you to Copilot, and also show how it works in some demonstrations. Now, the first question you may have then, what is Copilot? Well, Copilot is much like an AI helper that exists currently in the world of Microsoft. It is built on technologies from a company named OpenAI, who you may have heard with ChatGPT, amongst other apps that they're building to provide that automated assistance that can do a range of different activities. So with Microsoft Copilot, it is now going to find itself into the Microsoft products. And that is also a problem because Copilot is much like the Ford Motor Company. If you ask me, what does Ford do? I would say they create motor vehicles, but also specifically, they have a range of different vehicles to meet different needs. 4x4s, pickups, hatchbacks, family cars, and the like. They have different models to meet different requirements. And that's much the same as Copilot. Copilot comes in different flavors, because much like I mentioned there, you'll find Copilot in Windows 11, the Bing chat sidebar, and also Microsoft 365. And each of those three do very different things. So understanding which Copilot you're interacting with to do what task becomes really important. And that's exactly what I'm gonna try and show you today. We're gonna to see Copilot running in each three of those areas and see how it can benefit you and also some of the limitations at the moment. Before we dive in, I'd love it if you hit that like button and not only that, follow this channel to find more productivity tips to make you into a productivity superstar. Otherwise, let's dive in to Microsoft Copilot and start to uncover what it's all about. So here I am inside the Microsoft Windows 11, and we can see on the right-hand side, I have my Copilot window open because Copilot in this Windows version is integrated inside of Windows, allowing me to ask Copilot questions and also do things to control my own desktop. So what can it do? Well, it's fairly limited in this early preview version. We can ask it to do certain things on your computer. For example, let's ask it to turn on dark mode. And by simply typing into that sidebar that we want to turn on dark mode, we're then prompted to want to turn it on. Select yes, and that will now turn on dark mode. I'll have fire up my Windows Explorer or File Explorer. You can see here it is in full dark mode. But what if I want to turn that off and return back? Once again, we can go down and ask it to turn off dark mode. And there we go. Simply turn it off, nice and easy. But what if I want to create some focus time? Again, we can have Copilot do that for us. There's no need to go in the settings. Simply ask the Copilot to turn on focus mode and it'll also suggest a time you can use for that focus. And here we are. I'm gonna set my focus session and it's now been set. We even get a dialogue here to show the focus period and how many times I actually used it. We can also then integrate with Spotify to improve my focus. But as yet, the Copilot sidebar is not integrated into Spotify, so allow me to at least right now to turn on the music. But also because it has access to your system settings, we can also ask Copilot to open the control panel and the video resolution settings. We'll click on yes, and then we'll open up the control panel, allowing me to access the relevant settings. So as you can see, Copilot can help simplify the way that you manage your computer. And in some ways, of course, I find this experience quite slow because I'm familiar with Windows. I can get around much faster than what Copilot can, especially when it prompts me to reconfirm an action. But equally, I can appreciate that for some people, Windows is a confusing place and Copilot will simplify that. Simply by asking the question, it can turn on settings and more, meaning Windows becomes much more familiar but how does Copilot then work with Windows apps? Well, we can see one today, and that is Microsoft Paint. Yes, the app we probably used many years ago. 
And Microsoft Paint can now have a function called Co-Creator using the Copilot capabilities. That means we can describe an image, have it get created for us and bring it onto the Paint Canvas and then make changes to it and save it as an all important image file. But how does that work? Well, here I have Co-Creator open inside of actual Paint. You can see at least right now the Copilot sidebar doesn't integrate with it in that way. But in Co-Creator, I can define the image I'm looking for. I already looked for one earlier being a cat walking in the woods. Let's change that round to a wolf walking in the woods. We can also choose the style of the actual image itself, a pixel art, digital and so forth. Let's choose photorealistic and then select create. Now using the DALI engine from OpenAI, we're now integrating with that to create an image on the fly that we can bring through into Paint. And we're given three options for Microsoft Paint once this gets generated. And here are options here. Let's go ahead and select this one here. And there we go, a new image has been created. We can now go in and add changes, add text, and effectively save it as an all important image to be used elsewhere. So that's a classic example there of how we're gonna see Copilot in the future integrate with those apps. Yes, the co-creator doesn't seem too integrated now with the Copilot sidebar, but you can see a direction of travel and how it will work for you in the future. Don't adjust those YouTube sets. I'm just here very quickly to let you know that here at Your365 Coach, we can also help with training, coaching, and consultancy. So if you, your business, or your team are struggling in Microsoft 365, check out the link below where you can book in a call with us to find out how we can help you. Not only that, on our website, you can even download a free Microsoft 365 ebook, giving you the latest tips and tricks to get the most from Microsoft 365. Anyway, let's get back to it. And of course, in general terms, what do we do on the web? We ask questions, and we need to find out where the best place to eat or get a table reservation. Can Copilot help with that on our sidebar? Well, the answer is yes. It's integrated into Edge and therefore has full access to the web. Let's go down and ask you for the best places to eat in New York. And as we can see, the Copilot engine is now coming back with those results. It's integrating inside of Bing search and bringing back results from different sources and also listing where the sources are from. So we can understand the best places to eat, but we never went near Edge or Google Chrome to find the result. And that's because we can use the Copilot engine to search the web for us using natural language queries, i.e. questions, to help us get the right answers straight away. And equally, can the Copilot sidebar in Windows help us summarize data that we're looking at inside of the web? Well, here I have a Wikipedia article on Stranger Things, a show that many of you may have already seen, right? We can ask Copilot to summarize this page, right? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and ask it to do exactly that. Now what you'll see here is because we're asking it to summarize content inside of a web browser page, it doesn't have access to do so unless I grant it. So by default, it cannot summarize data from the web in web tabs. But if I select allow, it'll allow it to capture the content from this page and then provide a summary of what we're looking at. That can be helpful. Maybe you're looking at a very detailed page or a report online and want a summary. Well, as you can see here, it's now working out the Stranger Things overview and bringing back all that relevant content. Now, for those of you who haven't seen it and don't want any spoilers, don't worry. I hit stop responding and won't see any more content. But that shows you that Copilot can also integrate with the way that you work on the web directly through the Windows sidebar. And that takes us into the next section of our Copilot experience. We've seen the experience through Windows 11, a Copilot sidebar integrated for system settings more, and we've even seen it integrated inside of one of the Windows app for Microsoft Paint. But what's that second version of Copilot? Well, it's Bing Chat. And the Bing Chat for Enterprise experience was delivering a lot of what we saw in Windows 11. The web search experience and like what well, was all using Bing Enterprise Chat. And okay, Bing cannot integrate with your system settings. It can do a lot more than you think. If you don't believe me, well, we have a whole video exploring how to automate the way that you work on our channel. So check it out and understand how Bing Chat can work for you. 
If you haven't seen Bing Chat before, we're gonna go up and open the Bing Chat sidebar inside of Microsoft Edge. Now, you may be wondering, does a Windows 11 sidebar then recognize that and mirror the two together? Well, not really. As you can see on the right, my Windows 11 sidebar is still running, but the sidebar inside of Edge is actually separate. They're not linked or synced together. So from that point, I'll close down my Windows 11 sidebar to focus on the Bing Chat experience. So in the Bing Chat experience, we can browse the web and have it help us out. As an example, here I am on Wikipedia and I'm checking out content around the film 4. I could switch to the development and so forth, you actually see on the right hand side the Bing Enterprise chat bringing back a full summary of this page. I haven't even asked for a summary, it's summarizing it, allowing me to take the key points away without reading that whole page on the left. But not only that, much like we did inside of the Windows 11 Copilot experience, I could come down, ask it a new topic, and ask it for the best places to eat in London. And there we go, just like we saw earlier, it's able to provide the relevant result. I could very quickly open any of these sources and browse to that on the web to understand where it's getting the data from. So experience in the Windows 11 is much the same inside of the Bing chat service. But there is one big difference. We didn't see this composed dialogue inside of the actual Windows 11 service. And this allows us to create some content it's very good for social media posts or blog post reports and documents. So in here, I can write about a certain topic. For example, I might want to have a blog post created. So I can very simply ask it to create a blog post around Microsoft Copilot. Once I've asked it to do that, I can change the tone. So I'm going to have it as informational and I'm also going to select this to be a summary. Then I can also choose a length. Is it short, medium or long? Well, I'll go with medium and generate draft. What you'll then see in the preview window is the content starts to get created. What I could then do is take that content, bring it into my blog site by simply clicking add to site and it will copy it straight in to any web page editor that I've got open inside of Bing. It's a very helpful way to create content and also bring it straight into the web, be it an email, a report, a blog post or more. So let's talk about our third and final version of Copilot, and that is Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's probably the most important Copilot of all because it has access to your business data. Now, most people won't have access to this Copilot today. It is only available to select enterprise customers today, and it also comes with additional charge. Bing Chat and Windows 11 don't actually come with charges depending on your licenses but Copilot certainly does in Microsoft 365. But what can it do for you? Well, before we answer that, we need to understand that Microsoft 365 Copilot has access to your business data, your emails, documents, files, and more. It has access to them through the Microsoft ecosystem, and it means it becomes quite powerful. Yes, you can have the Copilot experience integrated in all of the apps that you use today, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, Word, Excel, and more. You can even have it write an email back to one of your contacts and even reply as you. That means it can read the thread of all of your emails, know how you sign off emails, understand your tone, and replicate it to become a digital version of you. Scary stuff, right? But also gonna add a whole lot of time save when it comes to writing all of your emails. But how would this experience work? Well, in the main, you're gonna have a new chatbot, Microsoft 365 Chat, which is very similar to what we've seen in Bing Chat. You can ask it questions and it'll come back and answer those in line inside of the chat. And that's all comprised inside of Microsoft Teams and also a web experience as well. But the Copilot experience will, as we mentioned, meet you in the app of choice. That means you're only a couple of clicks away from asking it to do something to actually create some content in Microsoft Word as an example. Generating you a report, very simple to do because the Copilot experience is embedded inside of Word. That sidebar well, is gonna be Word specific and allow you to have all of those great capabilities around automation inside of Word. The same applies to Outlook, the same applies to Excel, the same even applies to Microsoft Teams. So if we add in all of that value you're gonna get, what we can see is Microsoft 365 Copilot will be able to do a lot of your work for you. 
Will it take your job? Well, I guess it depends on your own job and what you do in your job role. But very much, it's going to come and it's going to save us hours every day. It's even mean you're going to find time to do the more important things in life or maybe just pick up other tasks. Who knows? Microsoft 365 Copilot is probably the biggest game changer of them all when it comes to your work and how you're going to use it in the future. So there you go, Microsoft Copilot explained. And hopefully I've been able to show you there how it all comes together and how potentially in the future Copilot will change the way you work or maybe your life, who knows. Now, if you did like this video, I'd love it, hit that like button and follow this channel to find more great content like this. And not only that, let me know in the comments about what you think of Copilot and also how you think it could improve the way you work in the future. Or maybe it's just one of those apps that will never take off. Personally, I actually think it will, and it will change the way that we work in the future. In future generations, Copilot will just be there, helping us get more each day, and also saving time to focus on the other things in life. Well, that's supposed to be the benefit of the AI, right? But don't blame me if it changes its name to Skynet. That had nothing to do with me. Hasta la vista, baby.